I'm Victoria and today I am doing the My Life in Books tag. The original tag is linked down below so you can check out her video and I will also link um, the person that I found it from who is a lovely lady as well and I'll go ahead and put that all down in the description below. It's a short tag, it's only eight questions so let's go ahead and dive right in. The first one is find a book for each of your initials. And man, I ransacked to my bookshelf and I had kind of a hard time with this one at first because I couldn't find one with V. That's my first name is Victoria. So didn't realize how hard it was gonna be to find a book with the letter V at the beginning of the title. The book that starts with the letter V is Vanishing X by Jodi Picoult which I read quite a few years ago and honestly I don't remember a whole lot about it. I know something about a missing child yeah, in New Hampshire. <laughs> That's maybe gonna have to revisit that one someday. My middle initial is C and the book that I found for C was Cat's Eye by Margaret Atwood which I have actually not read yet and hopefully we'll get to it very soon. And then my last name starts with the letter B and that would be Brave New World by Aldous, Hux, Aldous Huxley. And I have read this one and I love it and I highly recommend it. If you have not read it before, it is comparable to kind of 19, 1984 by George Orwell is sort of in the same vein. Um, I love 1984. I might like this slightly better. Not sure. Again, needs a reread for sure. Question number two was count your age along your shelf and basically wherever you land on that number, that's the book that I'm gonna show you. So I will be showing you Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the original screenplay by JK Rowling. Apparently this book was number 28 on my shelf and I am 28 years old. Question number three was to find a book that was set in your city or hometown. Now, I live in a very obscure California city that probably most people haven't heard of, so I definitely don't have any books set in my city exactly. However, I found a book that was sort of related to Los Angeles, which is about an hour away from us. So Anonymous Rex by Eric Garcia. This is a very oddball book about a uh, velociraptor, I believe, who is a detective, a PI, a PI detective. And I believe his story starts in Los Angeles, although I think it continues to New York City. So I have a feeling most of the book is set in New York City, but something about his story set or begins in Los Angeles. Again, haven't read this one yet either. I very recently hauled it. Um, it just sounds like a fun read, a dinosaur who is a detective. Question number four was to pick a book that represents a destination that you would love to travel to. And for that one, I decided to go with Memoirs of a Geisha by Arthur Golden. This is set in Japan in the 1920s, early 1900s, 1930s. So it follows a geisha and she is recounting her life story to you. So we're hearing about her life when she's much older and you hear about her life as a geisha, as a very successful successful geisha. It's a beautiful story. It's so beautifully written. It took me by surprise. I didn't think I was gonna love it as much as I did. In fact, I think it's gonna be one of my favorite books of the year, honestly. So loved this and just reminded me of my love for all things Japanese and I would love to go to Japan someday. I am fascinated by the culture of Japan and um, yeah, it just seems like a fascinating place to visit. So, Memoirs of a Geisha. Question number five was pick a book that is your favorite color. My favorite color is green and I really love many shades of green, both bright green and dark green. And so I thought the sixth volume of Harry, po uh, <laughs> of Harry Potter, the paperback edition has several beautiful hues of green on the front and on the side. So I think the forest green is my favorite though. Question number six is which books do you have the fondest memories of? And I'm assuming as a child, childhood memories. So for this, I automatically knew what to pick. That would have to be The Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis. This was the first fantasy series that I fell in love with and got me continuing to read other fantasy series. So um, 
Chronicles of Narnia is just a classic of children's literature. I feel very fortunate to have read it when I was of the age for it because I missed a lot of children's books that I really wish I had read when I was a child. Like Harry Potter, I, I wasn't allowed to read Harry Potter. I know. <laughs> Strict Christian households, okay. So I wasn't allowed to read Harry Potter. It was coming out and my friends were reading it and I couldn't read it because I was not allowed to. So I read it when I was an adult. I missed out on the Harry Potter phase when you were a kid. So Chronicles of Narnia were my favorite series as a kid. Um, second runner up would be the Wrinkle in Time series, or I think it's the, called the Time Quartet. Um, those were also really special to me as a child. Question number seven is which book have you had the most difficulty reading? And for this one, I am going to go with one that I read either last year, I think last year, and that was Anna Karenina by Leo Tolstoy. And it's not that I didn't enjoy it. I did, but it took me a really, really long time, like unusually long for me. It took me nearly three months to finish. And I don't know, for whatever reason, it didn't grab me enough to where I just wanted to pick it up all the time. So it felt like a little bit of a slog through and then I would set it down for a while and pick it up and kind of have forgotten a lot of the characters and forgotten some of the things that were going on. So um, for whatever reason, I really struggled through this. This was my first attempt at Russian literature, like heady, serious Russian literature. So I'm definitely gonna try more because I don't wanna judge everything on my experience with this one. But yeah, Anna Karenina, Took me a long time to get through. And finally, question number eight is which book on your TBR is a book that's going to be the biggest accomplishment for you to read? For this one, I'm gonna have to go with Foucault's, Foucault's, Foucault's. Let's go with Foucault's Pendulum by Umberto Eco. I bought this because it was a used bookstore and I had read The Name of the Rose by Umberto Eco in high school and really loved it. I had a, I had a wonderful English teacher in my senior year of high school who, made us read very challenging things for a high school class, and The Name of the Rose was one of them. Um, actually, it was the first book we read in that class. This teacher made me see literature in a different way, and I think really sparked my passion for it. So I don't know where he is in the world anymore, but I wish I could tell him thank you. <laughs> so he's probably not watching this video, but I wish I could tell him thank you. But Fugo's Pendulum by Umberto Eco is a book that I only picked up just because I'd read this author before and I read the synopsis and it seems pretty complicated plot and it's also humongous. It's like, how many pages is this book? Nah, it's not as bad as I thought. It's only 640 pages or so, but the, the plot and story sounds very esoteric, shall we say. It also sounds really interesting. There's something about like a mystery around Stonehenge and voodoo. I, there's all kinds of interesting things in here. So I'm sorry for the glare. Wow. I just noticed that this, I have no idea when I will read it someday when I'm feeling especially inspired to pick up a giant hardcover book. That's when I'll read it. I hope you enjoyed this tag. Feel free to do this tag if you feel so inclined. I'll go ahead and leave all the questions down below so you can just copy them and do them yourself. I hope you're having a great day, week, month, wherever you are, and keep reading great books, and I will see you next time. Bye!